Hi everybody, this is Tekken57. Welcome back to my modding channel. This morning's tutorial is going to focus on how to add a custom animated facial hair uh, to a um, Y object file. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be using uh, a custom uh, character which I've created, which is uh, Luther Reigns. Um, this is a custom, completely custom Y object uh, file which I'm creating. However, you can also use this process to add um, facial hair to existing uh, WWE uh, superstars which are in-game, uh, which are not completely custom as well. Um, so the choice is yours as to how you want to proceed. If the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to import uh, the, uh, the head into 3D Studio Max. Um, and I'm also assigned it a texture so I can see the placement of uh, where I want the facial hair to appear. Um, this is going to be handy later on when I'm importing a beard so that I can position the beard to the shape of the face. Secondly, I need to identify a Y object file which has the fa facial hair object that I want. You can either make a completely custom uh, facial hair object or you can uh, take an, a facial hair object from another uh, wrestler. In this instance, I'm going to be using uh, the facial hair from uh, DDP. So uh, I'm just going to open the DDP file and show you where it is. Okay, so it's object 24 in the DDP uh, Y object uh, file. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is um, we can open up our our main wrestler Y object file. Okay, in this case it's Luther Reigns. Now I've already done the rigging etc for this model, so this model is already rigged and ready to go in game. Uh, the only thing I want to add to this Y object now is uh, the facial hair. Now, if you need to get an understanding of how to rig a model, etc., I've already done this in my previous custom mesh tutorial videos, so go and look into that. I'm not going to cover that again in this video. So, um, we can see that there are 21 objects here, and now I want to add the facial hair object to this as well. So, I'm going to click on Extract All, and then thereafter, I'm going to put this into the Meshes uh, folder. I'm going to select, click on Select Folder. Okay, this will extract all the header and object inf information for this file uh, into the directory that we specified. Now, just take note of the um, of the numbering of this as well. Uh, we note that we have 21 objects here. This is important now because we're going to take the the uh, facial hair object from DDP, and we don't want to overwrite any of the ex uh, any of the other files. Uh, in this instance, it's 24. So we're not going to overwrite any of the uh, existing uh, meshes that we have in the Lutheran's uh, model. If you do find that the names clash, for instance, if this was object 20 or 21 or something like that, and it's going to overwrite one of your existing meshes, then you would need to extract this and then rename the object info and the header info to any object name that you want, which is higher than the number of objects that you have. For instance, I could make it object 30, for instance. Um, so that it doesn't overwrite any of these of the meshes that we have in the Lutheran's model. Okay, I'm just going to click on Extract, and I'm going to put this also in the Meshes folder, and I'm going to click on Select Folder. All right. Thereafter, I'm going to create a new Y object file, which you can do by File Y New Y object file, or you can click on Control Plus P. All right. We need to firstly select um, the base uh, Y object file that we're going to be utilizing. So in this instance, it's our Lutheran model. Okay. Thereafter, I'm going to select the meshes that I want to create, use for the creation of the Y object. So I'm going to click on the uh, meshes folder, and then thereafter, I'm going to select all of the files, with object 24 being the beard object. I'm going to click on Open. Okay. This is going to analyze all of the files, and it's going to get all of the information in the files. All right. So. <clears throat> All of the files that we already have in the object don't need to be tampered with. It's the final file uh, at the bottom here, which we need to uh, change some values for. Okay, firstly, you'll find that the name, the beard object, firstly, you'll find that the beard object needs to be assigned uh, a name. Okay, so I wouldn't recommend giving it uh, M head. Um, I'd say give it a name which is not utilized. I normally use the M low head. Um, a name because this is not uh, I don't usually utilize that mesh when I'm creating custom Y object files uh, the naming is not so important but sometimes it does cause the game to crash so I like to assign it something which is not used um, 
Then the number of animations is important because now we're going to create an animated uh, beard mesh. So it needs to match the existing number of animations that you have in the file. So if you look at the M head object, it has 120. So I'm also going to assign this 120. Okay, now this is quite important. The shader that you select is, uh, makes a very big difference as to whether this will cause the game to crash or not. Uh, you have to select the YCS trans shader. Okay, the weight count, I'm going to assign it a weight count of 7. Okay, that's also quite important um, because uh, we're going to rig this to the head of the object. So we want to have sufficient uh, bones which affect the movement. So this is the reason why I assigned 7. Okay, the other values you can't change. So I'm going to click on create object. Uh, I'm just going to call it 0000 underscore beard so we can distinguish it from our other Y object file. All right. So now the file has been created. I'm just going to open this. Okay, I'm just going to copy this into the uh, root directory as well so we can see what it looks like with textures. All right, and now you can see the beard uh, file has been created. Okay, now the placement and stuff is not done uh, correctly, so that we will need to use. Uh, some 3D editing software just to move and shape the beard as we need. Okay, I'm going to get into that just now. But before we do that, we need to ensure that this uh, beard mesh is referencing the correct textures so that it would load the beard textures in game. Okay, so let's go into edit materials. And I'm going to look, I'm just going to sort this by name so it's a bit easier. And we want to assign this to the combinations uh, texture. All right. Now, importantly, I've already created a um, 000A uh, texture archive, and I've placed the um, the combinations texture files uh, from DDP's uh, pack file in here, so that uh, it references the correct um, combinations, the MR and the uh, normal file as well. Okay, so. If you look at the uh, ID values here, you'll see that this is 65 and this is 66. All right, there's no value for uh, combinations underscore MR, so I'm just going to override one of the other values. So I think let's change uh, the value for glasses because I don't have a glasses uh, mesh for this object. And you can see that the ID there is 1D. So 65, 66, and 1D. Okay, also just look at the maximum value that you have here. Just, just ta take note of this. You, you may need this later on. 7F. Okay, I'll explain why just now. Okay, so if you look at this, the values again, it is uh, 65, 66, and 1D. Okay, click on Save Changes. And we're going to right-click on this, and we're going to click on Edit Shader Parameters. Okay, we need to assign a value for the diffuse, which is your color texture. I'm going to give this 65. The normal map is 66. Okay, material roughness, we said it was 1D. And then, importantly, you'll also see there's a value for M Pix mask. Okay, this is a texture which normally you assign to uh, objects which have some kind of metallic kind of shine or reflection to it. So in this instance, we, we don't have a texture for this, so we want to assign this something that's, that's a value that's very high so that we don't accidentally reference one of the other textures, which also causes the game to crash. So as you would note, the maximum ID value for our um, material list, as I indicated earlier, was 7F. So we just want to make this in something high. I normally make it something like 8E or something like that, which is quite high, so that... Uh, it doesn't accidentally load any of the other textures. It's going to reference a texture that's not there, and it's not going to cause any issues in game. I'm going to click on Save Changes. Okay, now because I have the combinations texture in the same directory, if I double-click this, you'll see that now this has a texture applied to it, meaning that we've assigned the correct shader parameters to this. All right, now we need to take uh, the meshes from here, position the beard object, and then thereafter uh, inject it back into this so that it looks correct. You can export the head mesh and you can export the beard uh, mesh and then import these into 3D Studio Max. This is the head object. Now your beard object you'll need to position and scale it to fit this head object. So I'm not going to go into that to save some time. 
So I've already done that, you can see. If you wanted to position and scale this object, you would just use the transform uh, tools in 3D Studio Max. Okay, so I'm happy with the position and placement. I can just export this as object and then thereafter import this back into this mesh. So I've already done that to save some time. I've called it beard. If I in inject this back into the, <coughs> excuse me, if I inject this back into the Y object file, you can see that now it's positioned and placed um, correctly to fit the shape of the face. Okay, now we need to rig the beard to uh, this model. So I'm going to import the Lutheran's 0000Y object file, the original one, not the one with the beard, into 3D Studio Max. Okay, the script that I'm going to use is the uh, WWE2K18 exclusive script, uh, which I've posted in the past. Okay, and then thereafter I'm going to select the Lutheran's Y object file and I'm going to import this. Okay, to save us some time, I've imported this already. Then thereafter, you're also going to import the beard mesh, which you have uh, created and positioned in our previous step. Um, I've also done this here to save us some time. All right, so now that this is imported into 3D Studio Max, you need to rig this to the face. So I'm going to click on the beard object and I'm going to click on the modifiers uh, drop down and I'm going to select skin wrap. Okay, for the parameters, I'm just going to add the head. All right, so uh, for of value, we're going to set this to the lowest possible value. And I'm going to select weight all points. And then thereafter, I'm going to click on convert to skin. Okay, this takes a little while to run, uh, but it will convert it into a skin modifier for us. Okay, then thereafter, you need to specify the number of weights you want to assign. Okay, so I'm going to click on skin. I'm going to go down to advanced parameters. And the bone effect limit needs to match our weight count. In this instance, our weight count is 7. Okay, once I'm done with that, I'm going to click on scripting, run script. And I'm going to select uh, export bone weights to file. Okay, thereafter, I'm going to save this in the uh, directory that we're working on. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, I'm calling it beard here. All right, once that's done, we're going to go back into... All right, so now I'm going to go back to X-Ray and uh, I can import the weights. But before we do that, there's a few things we need to set first. Um, I'm going to right-click on the object and I'm going to select Edit Object Header. If you are importing a beard object, you'll find that sometimes the weight Indian format is set to a value which is incorrect. Okay, this value needs to be set to 192. Okay, in this instance, it was set to 300 and some more. Okay, this is very important to do before you inject the weights, otherwise the weights will inject, inject incorrectly, and you find that it the rigging of the of the beard will be completely messed up in game. All right. Secondly, while you're here, also the material effect needs to be set to zero. Most instances with beard meshes, it's set to four. Uh, however, if you're using a tan shader and you set the value to four, you'll find that the uh, mesh will not uh, appear in game. It'll make it completely invisible. All right, that's it. So we hit save values. Okay, and now that we've set the weight end in format correctly, um, you can click on uh, import weights. And we select the file that we've generated from 3D Studio Max. Okay, if you're not sure what value to uh, select, you can look at one of the other object headers. You'll notice that um, all the custom meshes that I create has has a value of 192. Now we've rigged the beard to the Y object file, so we can use this in game. However, we also want this now to uh, animate. So usually the problem we have is that when the um, usually the problem we have is that when the character opens the mouth, uh, the beard doesn't move with it, and then the beard tends to clip. Okay, so what you need to do is um, you need to go into the uh, animations. So I'm going to right click and say load animations 2K18 upwards. Okay, now this is a, because this is a custom uh, a character that I've created, I had to f manually create the animations. So I uh, created a, a sculpt where the mouth is open, uh, which is animation 45. Uh, I use Mudbox for this or 3D Studio Max, whatever you prefer. So I'm just going to export this uh, and I can import this into 3D Studio Max. So I'm going to export animation 45. 
All right, so I'm going to go into 3D Studio Max, and then thereafter, I'm going to open the animation 45 uh, mesh that I have. Okay, let's just give it the texture as well, so we can see it a bit better. Okay, so right away, you can see that the beard uh, mesh is uh, clipping into the face. You can see that the chin is be below the base of the beard, and some of the facial is slipping into the mouth, etc. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to make a copy of the beard mesh. So you can click on Edit Copy. Okay, um, you can click on Edit Clone, and you can specify Copy, and this will create a second instance of this. I've already done this for you. All right, and then thereafter, with the copy of this beard, you can position um, the facial hair to match the shape of the face. Okay, so I've done this already. I've... Uh, I've created one and I've called it beard 45 so you can see this is now aligned to the shape of the face um, the way you would position this is you would use the transform tools move the vertices around etc so you can see the original beard object here and then the one that I've positioned for the face all right now this keep in mind that your animation value needs to match uh, the animation value of the face so if your mouth open animation is 45, then your beard will also be 45. All right, so I'm going to click on File, Export. And I'm going to export this into, uh, into our work directory. And I call this uh, beard 45. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just naming it 45 so I knew would know what animation slot to inject this into. All right, so then thereafter, I'm going to go into, I'm going to open the file again. And I'm going to go into the beard uh, mesh. I'm going to right click and I'm going to load animations. Okay, so firstly, we want to have a reference mesh from which we can determine uh, what values to apply to the animation. So I'm going to click on export and I'm going to say, I'm going to save this as animation zero, which is the uh, the beard uh, mesh without any changes to it and then thereafter i'm going to go into the animation 45 slot and i'm going to inject uh, the uh, mesh that we've created for the mouth open animation okay so now you'll see that this is has a slightly different shape to the others okay so this is now an animated uh, beard you can do the same if you want for the smiling and the frowning animations, etc., uh, to match the facial animations of the base mesh. But uh, I find this is not really necessary. The one that really causes problems is, is the mouth open. And the others actually look quite fine. All right, so that's about it. So now we have a, a Y object file with the beard object positioned. We have an animation for this, and we can test this in game. So let's go into the game. Okay, and you can see that the mouth is opening and the beard is actually moving with the mouth open as well so you don't have any clipping of the beard into the mouth object and stuff as well all right so that brings an end to the tutorial um, this is a pretty advanced tutorial so if you are not um, comfortable with creating custom y object files uh, and any of the rigging concepts that i've uh, covered in this you you are welcome to go and look at the previous custom mesh tutorials where i cover this a bit more in detail if you have any questions, you're welcome to post it in the uh, comments below, and I'll try my best to assist you. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial, and this opens the possibility for creating more new exciting mods. Uh, until next time, take care and happy modding.